Hey there folks, welcome to the next episode of Differential Equations. I'm your host Rifat Bari, Harvard Exoplanet Researcher, Perfect ACT Scorer, and I'm a Perfect GPA student here at the City College of New York, where I study physics. Today, we're going to study a particular type of differential equation, a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Now, in these kinds of linear equations, we have to use something very simple but clever. We're going to substitute in a particular function whose second derivative is itself. In fact, even its first derivative is itself. And what function is that? Well, it's e to the rt. And that's the function we're going to plug in into the second order differential. And let's see if we can solve it when the determinant is positive. All right, let's check out the solution. Hello, folks. Welcome to the next episode of Differential Equations. Today, we're going to solve the following problem. We have a second order, uh, maybe linear, maybe exact, maybe homogeneous linear equation, a differential equation over here. So how are we gonna solve this? Well, first of all, this is a second order differential equation, right? So we know three methods, three ways to solve a second order differential equation. And a second order differential equation usually has the following form, P, y double prime plus q y prime plus r y is equal to, for lack of better letters, s, okay? So you can usually divide out the first coefficient so that you're left with y double prime plus q over p y prime plus r over p y is equal to s over p, okay? So that's usually how second order differential equations look like. And this, as you can see, is definitely uh, looking like that, right? We have a squared, we have a, a y, y double prime, that's this term over here. We have a y prime, that's this term over here. We don't have any y terms here. So we don't have any terms like this in this equation. So how can we solve it? Well, there's three, there's three methods that are available for us to solve second order differential equations. First of all, if, the, if your second order differential equation has constant coefficients, then, then you can just guess a solution. And your guess has to be in the form of e to the rt. But as you can clearly see, this y is obviously not a constant, and uh, there's no constants to be found here. So sadly, this is not a viable method for us. Another way we could do it is change of variable. Change of variable. So what that involves is we replace, we turn, almost like magic, we turn a second order differential equation into a first order. How do we do that? Well, we replace d squared y dt squared with just dv dt. Right? So wherever you see a second order uh, derivative, you're going to replace it with the first order. Wherever you see a first order derivative, you're just going to replace it with V. That's it. Sadly, if you go ahead and try to execute the second method, it'll turn out to be a failure. And so you're going to be left with one last resort. And this is usually a nasty method that we don't like to use, but that is our last resort for this problem. And <clears throat> that's called reduction of order. Reduction of order. So what reduction of order looks like is as follows. We're going to make the following substitutions. We're going to say that dy dt is equal to v, no surprise there, but uh, d squared y dt, d squared y dt squared is not going to be dv dt. Instead, we're going to use the chain rule and rewrite this as dv, uh, sorry, v dv dy. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and make the, the appropriate substitutions into this differential equation, and let's see what that gives us. Okay, so, so let's do that. So y times, what is y double prime? Well, y double prime we're going to replace with v dv dy, okay? Uh, oh, plus, plus, don't forget, plus, y prime squared, right? And so what is y prime squared gonna be? It's just gonna be v squared is equal to zero, okay? And so now what can we do? Now we have, if you look carefully, what we have is a joke. 
right? This is just a linear first order differential equation. Divide out the dv dy term. So we're gonna have in the front dv dy, dividing both sides by vy, we get uh, over here, uh, one over y, v squared over v equals zero. Now you ask, why did you write v squared over v? Why didn't you just combine the fractions? Well, it's because we could get it into the right form for solving a linear first order differential equation. So let's do that. So now we're gonna have dv dy, dv dy, okay? Plus one over y, one over y, times v squared over v is v. Okay, and now you can see that this is in the, this is in the right format for, for uh, solving a linear first order differential equation. You're going to slice and dice this term. I'm not gonna go through the derivation, but the main idea is we're going to have e the integral of and here is where it gets a little bit tricky a little bit tricky and so if you're having trouble solving this with v's and y's all you have to do all you have to do is replace uh, this is kind of like a trick you really should not do this but I'm doing this to make your life easier instead of dv dy I'm gonna write dy dt and instead of 1 over y I'm gonna write 1 over t and instead of v I'm going to write y once again this is just uh, this is just for practical purposes. This is not mathematically correct. This is just so, this is almost like a trick in your, in your playbook. So now, this should be very easy for you to solve, right? You pull out the one over t, so you take the integral, uh, you exponentiate the integral of one over t dt, and then what do you do? You multiply it by y on the left-hand side, and that's gonna equal, on the right-hand side, what are we gonna have? Well, multiply this thing by whatever, it's still gonna be zero, but then after you integrate it, you're gonna get a constant. So we're gonna call that constant C1. I'm hiding a lot of the, the steps that go into that, but we're going to, we're going to solve it as, as simply as possible. So let's see if, uh, if we can come closer here. Okay, so y e to the, what is uh, the integral of one over t? That's ln of t, right? Ln of the absolute value of t, if you wanna be precise. And what is e to the ln of t? Well, that's just t. That's just t. And so what we actually did was we multiplied this right-hand side by t, but then we got zero. But then if you integrate zero, you get a constant. And that's, what, that's exactly what we have on the right-hand side. y t is equal to c1. And so now don't forget that the whole reason we have y is because we did something bad. We did something illegal. We uh, changed the variables for no reason. And so now you wanna go back to your original variables, right? We really should not have y here, we should have v, right? So v, therefore, is simply one over t c1. And there you go, folks, that is your solution. As you can see, I have c1, because if you integrate again to get y, you're gonna end up with a second constant, because this is a second order differential equation. But that's it, that's v, you have v now, Finding why now is a joke. This is your final answer. Thank you for watching this episode of Differential Equations. We'll check you out in the next one.